Dana here from Serious Vanity on Tuesday, June 7, 2016. I was talking to a friend earlier about anxiety, and I think that it's relevant in terms of business stuff as well as life stuff. If you're tired of feeling a certain way or something being framed a certain way or your perception of something, and that's really the key here, perception is everything. And what you may be catastrophizing may really be very easily transformed into something else, something that gives you your control back. There was a method I learned, and I heard about it for many years, and in theory, it sounded great, but I never put it into practice until maybe like a month or two ago. And it is so incredibly effective. It's very simple. Just get a rubber band, you know, a fairly good size one, depending upon how big your wrist is. Put it on your wrist. And when something that causes anxiety that is a trigger to you comes up in life, comes up in your business day, takes you off course and takes you out of focus, pop that thing. Give yourself a little jolt. It sounds so stupid that something like that would have a huge effect as far as retraining where your mind goes, but it really, really does. And I wish I would have tried it all those years ago when I originally heard about it. So there's your dumb trick number one for completely changing your mind. Couple that with quit listening to the news and quit listening to anything negative, anything combative. Like I had to give up for the most part. Sometimes I still do it, but like I loved court shows. In the heyday of this, I would watch the really bad ones, like the ones nobody wants to watch. But in my average times with it, it would be, you know, straight up Judge Judy, hot bench, people's court kind of thing. Like every day, like I would DVR that stuff. And (laughs) like you have to give that up because it's just listening to people argue. It's just listening to people have bad attitudes and disagree. And you don't realize the role that that plays on your mind and the news. You're force-fed so much crap every day from the media, from your feed on Facebook and Twitter. If you just keep scrolling through that and seeing all of these negative pictures and horrible, you know, the other side is wrong sort of rhetoric constantly, that is who you become. It adds to this level of whatever is presenting itself in your life, like the hot button just keeps getting hotter. If you want to replace something negative in your life, if you want to replace doing something or a bad habit or just something you want to block out, the very best way to do this, don't do this by leaving no space, by becoming completely blank because you risk becoming bored and complacent. So what you want to do is find something positive to replace it. And you may not be super excited about this thing yet, but it will be better than the thing that you're avoiding. And it will build a new pattern. And gradually you'll move into other things. For me, it's like, give me either a record I really like that I can listen to while I'm working or while I would otherwise be having chatter in my mind, or some other kind of audio that I can put on like on YouTube or something while I'm working on my website or something like that. And more often than not, I go sort of in a more spiritual way with that. And that to me, that that moves me in the right direction. Uh, For you, it may be something else. Uh, For me, it's usually something like Abraham Hicks or Wayne Dyer or Joel Osteen or any various things. I'm into all kinds of kooky things. So any of that kind of stuff is better than the combative stuff. It may be other forms of escapism, maybe audiobooks or movies. Now, you can't get completely lost all hours of the day in escapism. I wouldn't recommend just forming an imaginary life to replace the life that you don't like. I've seen people do that. It's not super effective. You know, a little bit of escapism is an okay thing, especially if you've had a lot of negative stuff going on in your life and you need to infuse it with a little bit of uh, some other kind of story, some other kind of imaginary thing. Whatever helps, you know, at first when you're starting out with it, with changing your patterns, it doesn't have to be the thing that you find. 
a little bit less combative, a little bit less negative is better than negative. So, you know, you may move from nightly news to celebrity news. And, you know, that has less to do with you. It may be more personal interest stories. And maybe you don't want to spend all of your time on YouTube looking at videos, but maybe spending a little bit of time at first looking at positive videos will get you in the right frame of mind where you eventually aren't so depressed or so anxiety riddled. And so you move on to the next thing, which is to turn the computer or the phone off for a little bit and go outside. And then you may spend more time outside and find that You have a passion for nature, and the more you get interested in nature, the more you start to develop an interest in maybe photographing nature or something like that. It puts you on the path, but it's an incremental kind of thing. So be easy on yourself if you can't immediately go from being bombarded by negativity to living on a little fluffy cloud. It's okay. I wanted to pass those along because it does seem like there are a lot of people around me who are really suffering right now with anxiety and with depression. And I've been there. I've really, really been there. I've, I had clinical depression for like several years and it's horrible. It's, it's a dark, dark place where you feel very isolated and very alone. And you're not like a lot of other people are going through this too. And I just want to reach out and just just say, hey, I love you. And I really, really do care about you as a person who are taking the time to listen to me today. And I hope that this message reaches you in some way that sparks a little bit of change because change is good. Change should be embraced. And it doesn't feel comfortable to embrace it. It's like it's wearing a little porcupine suit. Once you get there, though, you realize it just looks like that. And you start to like change a little bit. But you have to start. So I hope that this helps you embrace the journey a little bit more today. We'll get back on a businessy topic tomorrow. This is just kind of where I'm at today. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.